I think the development of renewable energies, both wind and solar in Oregon, is going to be the future. The state is pushing into, you know, more carbon-free emissions, and I think that is a, a step in the right direction. My name is Pat Shannon, and I am a Gillen County Commissioner. I became a county commissioner basically concerned about economic development, and that's been my primary goal is what can we do in Gillen County to um, develop our county and make life better for our residents and our community. And renewable energy plays a big part in us ever reaching that. So, yeah, it's, there's, there's some benefits to having and long-term benefits through tax revenue uh, helps us do things we wouldn't be able to do. It's just a revolving benefit to everybody in the long run. I think renewable energy is benefiting rural America and rural communities by probably the biggest thing is, is an influx of cash. There are ongoing property taxes that are paid. Those go to things like supporting schools. Um, I know we have fire services, fire protection agreements with the local fire department where we uh, host training for them and provide equipment and gear for them. It, it does employ people full time and it's, it's great, a uh, great wage um, for what we do. Whenever we have renewables come in, they put so much back into the community that it's super beneficial. The tax dollars that go into the community are, are huge. Landowner payments. Another benefit to the community here is the, the payment to the landowners for the, the power that we produce on their property. To one time the landowner mentioned to me that he never imagined that this property he had would have put his daughters through college, which it did. The landowners do get stable income from these turbines for being on their property. The money they get from the wind farm is, is guaranteed. Um, whereas, you know, if you're running a cattle operation, it's hit or miss. From what I've seen, there's zero impact on, on what it does to cattle ranching. There's several times that I've run parts out to the guys and the cows are right there, literally underneath the turbine that I need to be at, you know. Every wind farm I've been on, they're either farming right up next to them, they're grazing cattle right next to them, um, hunting next to them. I think the long-term benefit is huge. We have neighbors that don't have it, that, that um, struggle with a, a lot of the programs that we're able to fund. A lot of our funding is going to the road department. We pave a certain amount of roads every year that have never been paved. So I, you know, there's been, there's a lot of benefits. And uh, so, I, it, and there's a, a huge benefit to construction period on these projects when they come in and, and they bring in Lots and lots of construction workers. We recently did a repower and a construction of a solar project at the same time. Had three to four hundred construction employees in the county for over a year. During construction, uh, at the highest point, we had 215 people working on the project. Many of them were local. They all had to eat someplace. They all went shopping for new boots someplace. So uh, quite, a, quite a big boom to the economy when we had the project going on tickled that they have the kind of jobs that they have in the county because they're not going to get that in the agricultural industry that we've had in the past. Well, to have a job in the area that I grew up is pretty special to me, especially one that I feel like is going to be around for a long time. But I would say the majority of the community has been really supportive of EDPR being here. I think EDPR is a very trustworthy company. I haven't seen anything that was over-promised and under-delivered. I, I definitely think that wind and solar is a great opportunity for Washington. Our state is pushing to be as renewable as possible by 2030 or 2040. And it's a chance for some energy independence. We're maybe no longer reliable on foreign oil. It's a great way to make use of land that is maybe no longer being used for farming or for agriculture. It's also a great way to make some money. I do feel it's a cleaner and, and more efficient alternative than, than other routes. The cleaner we can keep things, the better. You know, I'm, I'm big on recycling. I'm big on doing everything I can to minimize my footprint on this earth. I just think that the, the common sense thing to do is to move to a, a renewable energy away from fossil fuels as we need to. I did not ever imagine Gillen County would look like it does today or would have the potential to go where it, it can go. We're in a place that's just mind-boggling to me. We have a lot of potential for a lot of things, and it's, it's exciting.
I would definitely invite anybody in rural America to get on board with it, ask the questions, get the information, and don't be afraid to try.